Our Inn to Inn bike tour starts here in Brandon, Vermont. The Lilac Inn sits on Park Street, known by locals as the most beautiful street in Vermont. It's perfect east-west, so you get the sunsets and the sunrises. We have a lot of maple trees that turn beautiful colors in the fall, so it's gorgeous. Shelley Sawyer, a former nurse, has run the inn for 21 years, 19 of them with her late husband, Doug, who retired from corporate life to support her dream of running a small town inn. It was built as a private home, and we do home fries that are the best, I think, in the whole state. <laughs> the stone lighthouse on the other side. For the cycling portion of our journey, we've enlisted the help of Massachusetts native Seth Hopkins, who moved to Vermont in his college days. Now, he and his wife Olya curate 200 tours a year for their company, In to In Bike Tours. The fellow who came up with it was actually named Mike Schonstrom, and he had done in to in hiking in Europe, and he wanted to replicate it in the United States. So he landed in Vermont, and then he started really getting creative, and for a number of years he did in to in kayaking, in to in llama trekking, in to in steam train, like any possible mode of transportation to connect two different places. Eventually, those novelties would fade, leaving biking and hiking as the two mainstays of the program. Cyclists are generally couples or friends in groups of two or four. They have several different options for distance to get from their breakfast in to their dinner in. So some people might you know, just be looking to do a couple of hours and then spend the rest of the day sightseeing. And other people are really, really intense cyclists. Let's get some highlights for some different sites to see. On day one, Hopkins greets riders personally and gives an overview of their journey. They also receive an app-driven itinerary with turn-by-turn -turn instructions. The descriptions you write really show your knowledge and love of this area. It's an independent tour, it's self-guided, so there's no one with them. Those little narratives that we write and give them are supposed to be a little bit of a, of a way for them to have some local knowledge. We take the main streets and back roads wherever we go. So we're heading west first. Could be a few more miles in 17, but we're gonna hop on the bike, go check it out. Today's destination, the town of Middlebury. But the journey is about the people we meet along the way. So we make our first stop in the town of Orwell for a taste of local flavor at Buxton's store. I'm gonna do the Miss Hannigan. Sure. You got a nice selection there. Yeah. Andy Buxton is the latest Buxton to run this local institution. Since returning the store to family ownership in 2017, he has used his passion for food to make his mark. I had a feeling I was gonna do something in restaurant hospitality, but when the opportunity came, I was like, you know, maybe I don't need to be running a bar until two o'clock in the morning. You know, maybe I get in, get back into the, the store thing and, and we can put our twist and our flair on it. And the town of Orwell has been greatly rewarded. That's Mackenzie turkey. The turkey's um, great. Homemade pickled red onions, fresh baby arugula. That garlic herb mayo yes. is really good. Yeah, thanks. You didn't steer me wrong. Thank you. Why would you? No. <laughs> it's back to my bike, where two miles down the road, still nestled on the banks of Lake Champlain, these wooden sculptures mark our return to a place we've been before. On this shelf over here. We first met wood carver Norton Lotterell in 2015. While these dog carvings may still be his bread and butter, it's helped us build the new house. His more recent work is simple and reflective, like this series of more than 500 orbs that populate his landscape. I'm trying to feature the woods they're made from for people to think about trees and how they're important in the world today. This new focus, just the latest chapter in a prolific creative career. We tour his gallery with wife Marlene and feel like we've stumbled into Noah's Ark. Well, Norton started out with birds, but as you can see, he's expanded. He loves wildlife. He loves fun things, whimsical things, things to make you happy. He's made a lot of people happy. A wonderful legacy and one not lost on the artist himself. It is hard to make a living uh, as an artist. Have you enjoyed the journey? I have. No question. Wow, 
Oh, it's mm. great. And while our journey tonight through the Champlain Valley is revolves around Seth Hopkins into Intour, there are very other similar tours out there as well. There are. Uh, there's still llama trekking, believe it or not. But if you're going to try to do that as an in to in tour, you might want to give the innkeepers a bit of a heads up that you're bringing your llama. Um, really, that doesn't happen anymore. You do llama tours with the llama as a pack animal, not as something you would ride from in to in. But oh, there geez. are some other adventures up there. But that, this is the big one. They're bike riding. One. Well, you look good out there. All right. Up